hello friends today we will study the meaning of indifference curve this is the definition of indifference curve indifference curve is a curve showing various combinations of two goods which provide the consumer with the same level of satisfaction now initially you may find this definition to be a bit difficult but actually it is a simple definition if you keep in mind a couple of points understanding the definition will be very easy so first of all remember that indifference curve is a curve showing different combinations of two goods so remember that there are two products good x and good y so it is a curve showing different combinations of two goods which provide the consumer with the same level of satisfaction so just remember that indifference curve is a two commodity model so there are two goods x and y now our consumer is very fond of chocolates so instead of taking good x and good y we have taken two chocolates the first is the dairy milk silk and the second is cadbury eclairs now he likes chocolates he is fond of chocolates but he likes dairy milk much more than he likes eclairs now we want to find out different combinations or various combinations of these two goods which provide the consumer with the same level of satisfaction now we are offering a combination to the consumer and this is the combination which we are offering to him so what is this combination one dairy milk silk plus 20 eclairs so this is the first combination of two goods which we are offering to the consumer and then we are asking the consumer that what do you think will be the level of satisfaction which you will get from this combination now actually the indifference curve analysis assumes ordinal utility that means you cannot measure utility cardinally that is in numbers but for simplicity let us assume that the consumer is able to measure the level of satisfaction in numbers so we ask the consumer that if we offer you this combination and what is the combination 1 plus 20 if we give you one dairy milk and 20 eclairs what will be the level of satisfaction now the consumer thinks for a while and then he says that my level of satisfaction will be 100 so this is the satisfaction which the consumer thinks he gets from this combination of two goods now we are putting another offer in front of the consumer now we are telling him that what if we take away 10 eclairs from your basket so we have offered him that we will take away we will withdraw 10 eclairs chocolates from his combination but we will compensate him by giving one additional dairy milk so i hope you understood the combination the second combination which we are offering to the consumer and what is this combination what is this offer we are putting in front of the consumer that we will take away 10 eclairs from your basket and instead of those 10 eclairs we will compensate you by giving one additional dairy milk so this is the second combination which we are offering to the consumer and we are asking him that will this combination be acceptable to you do you think that you will be compensated adequately by one dairy milk for uh, sacrificing those 10 eclairs so once again our consumer thinks for a while and after some time he says that well i am fine if you take away 10 eclairs from my basket but if you are giving me my favorite dairy milk silk again i feel that my level of satisfaction is 100 so whether you offer one dairy milk plus 20 eclairs to the consumer or you offer two dairy milks and 10 eclairs the consumer thinks that his level of satisfaction remains the same now we are putting the third offer in front of the consumer we are asking him that what if we take away these last four eclairs from your combination 
So we want to take away, we want to withdraw four Eclairs chocolates from his basket, but we will give him one additional unit of dairy milk. And then what will be his level of satisfaction? So this is the third combination which we are offering to the consumer. Three units of dairy milk silk plus six units of Eclairs. Now we took away four Eclairs from the consumer's basket but we gave him one additional dairy milk. He already had two dairy milk chocolates in the previous combination. We have given him one more, but we have taken, uh, we have taken away four eclairs from his basket. And then we ask him that now tell us, what do you think will be the level of satisfaction? And surprisingly, he says that my level of satisfaction is still the same. So he does not mind us taking away four eclairs from his basket because we are offering him or giving him one extra dairy milk, right? So now we are having three different combinations which are giving exactly the same level of satisfaction to the consumer. The first combination is 1 plus 20. The second combination is 2 plus 10. And the third combination is 3 plus 6. The last combination which we offer to the consumer is that what if we take away three eclairs from your basket, the last three we want to take away, but we will give him one additional unit of dairy milk, then what will be the level of satisfaction? So this is the fourth and the final combination we are offering to the consumer that is four dairy milk silk plus three eclairs. And then we ask him that what do you think will be the level of satisfaction this time? And he says, once again, my level of satisfaction will be 100. So now we have four different combinations. If we put all the previous slides into one, we get this slide. So there are four different combinations of two goods. So remember that combinations are four. There are four different combinations but there are only two goods, dairy milk and eclairs. So the first combination is one dairy milk plus 20 eclairs. The second is two dairy milk plus 10 eclairs. The third is three dairy milk chocolates plus six eclairs. And finally, four dairy milk chocolates plus three eclairs. And all the four combinations give exactly the same level of satisfaction to the consumer. So every time we take away eclairs from the basket of the consumer, we compensate him by an additional unit of dairy milk. So he feels that his level of satisfaction has been kept intact or has been maintained at the same level. Now let us put these images into a table. So I'm converting this slide into a table. So I get this kind of table. You can see the first combination is one dairy milk plus 20 eclairs. And this combination, which is shown here, one dairy milk plus 20 eclairs, this combination gives him 100 units of satisfaction. The second combination is B. And that combination is two dairy milk plus 10 eclairs. So that combination is shown here, two plus 10. And once again, the level of satisfaction is 100. The third combination C is three units of dairy milk silk plus six units of eclairs. So that is shown here in the table. The third combination C provides uh, once again the same level of satisfaction that is 100, three plus six. And it is also giving him the same level of satisfaction. And finally, the fourth combination and this combination is four dairy milk chocolates plus three eclairs. So four plus three is the last combination, which again gives him the same level of satisfaction. So what do we have in our table? In our table, we are having four different combinations, A, B, C, D. These are the four different combinations of two goods, X and Y, or in our case, dairy milk and eclairs, which provide exactly the same level of satisfaction to the consumer. Now it is time to convert this information into a curve. So we will plot these combinations on a graph paper. On the x-axis, we will take dairy milk and on the y-axis, we will take eclairs. 
and then we will simply plot these combinations on a graph paper and then we will join all the combinations to get the curve which will be known as indifference curve so this is the x-axis on the x-axis we have taken the units of dairy milk silk on the y-axis we have taken the units of cadbury eclairs now this is a the first combination and what was that combination one plus 20 that means one dairy milk on the x-axis plus 20 eclairs on the y-axis so this is the first combination which gives 100 units of satisfaction to the consumer the second combination is b and what is this b combination it is two dairy milk plus 10 eclairs so the same thing we have shown here two dairy milk on the x-axis and 10 eclairs on the y-axis and once again this combination is giving exactly the same level of satisfaction to the consumer the third combination is c and what is this combination you can see it is three plus six three dairy milk plus six eclairs and this is shown here three dairy milks on the x-axis plus six eclairs on the y-axis so combination c once again gives exactly the same level of satisfaction that is 100 and finally it is 4 plus 3 4 dairy milks on the x-axis and 3 eclairs on the y-axis and d the last combination again gives the same level of satisfaction so what do a b c d show so a b c d are four different combinations of two goods which provide the consumer with the same level of satisfaction and then we join these four points through this green curve and this curve will be known as an indifference curve so what is an indifference curve indifference curve is a curve showing different combinations a b c d it shows different combinations of two goods which provide exactly the same level of satisfaction to the consumer right so this is the meaning of indifference curve so if someone asks you what remains constant what remains same what remains equal along the indifference curve your answer should be it is the level of satisfaction it remains constant whether you choose combination a b c or d all the four combinations of two goods provide exactly the same level of satisfaction to the consumer so I hope you understood this meaning of indifference curve and you should understand the definition, the table as well as this diagram. So I hope you enjoyed this short video on the meaning of indifference curve. Keep on watching for more such videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.